In this video, I will be investing 40,000 New Zealand dollars into the US stock market, which is about 28,000 US dollars. Is this going to be a good idea? All I know is my gut says maybe. This video is filmed well over 4 months, so we are going to see if it was a good idea or not. I will be investing this money throughout the most uncertain times. I'm talking about the first detection of the Omicron variant of COVID and the uncertainty of Russia invading Ukraine. They say any time is a good time to invest, so let's see if it is true or not. My overall portfolio value is $69,804 and my total return ever since I joined Hedge is $18,531. So overall, in my whole time with hedge i have gained 36 percent if you were to change that to new zealand dollars with the current currency exchange rate my portfolio value is just under a hundred thousand dollars it's ninety eight thousand and i have gained twenty six thousand new zealand dollars now this is my total values including the cash on hand so if you were to go down my current portfolio is it's only fifty eight thousand three hundred twenty one dollars and it has gone up fifty percent so i have gained nineteen thousand six hundred six dollars this is in new zealand in a march if you come back change this to US still 50% but obviously it's changed into US dollars before I show you my portfolio properly if you come up here and have a look at the money I deposited you will see that I made four ten thousand dollar transactions which comes up to forty thousand New Zealand dollars now as you can see each time I transferred I got a different amount of US dollars and that's because of the currency exchange rate keeps moving as well so that's something you might need to keep an eye on and as you can see it does make a difference so if you have a look at this on the 17th of August I deposited ten thousand dollars and i got six thousand nine hundred twenty two dollars so if you have a look at this graph 17th of august was right here new zealand actually went into a nationwide lockdown at this time and that had an effect on the new zealand dollar it made it weaker against the u.s currency so the currency exchange rate was 0 0.69 and then it went all the way down to 0 0.6827 now when it came down here i told myself that there's no way that i'm gonna exchange ten thousand dollars with this rate i didn't think that the new zealand dollar should be this weak at that time so i waited and the next time i deposit money was two weeks later the 30th of august and of course i deposited ten thousand dollars and i got a better currency exchange just for waiting so on the 30th of august i saw it coming back up and then it was starting to dip again so i deposited money here the next time i deposited money was the next day the 31st august i deposited ten thousand dollars and i got a relatively same amount of the currency exchange but with this you can see how much the small currency exchange movement can influence how much you get so on the 30th of august the money was exchanged at a rate of 0 0.6966 the next day my money was exchanged at 0 0.6994 so that's like a difference about 0 0.003 and that turned out to be a difference of 28 us dollars and then I waited until this run up was over and I deposited money today. It's still processing, but I got 7,100 US dollars. So that's a big difference. It says it's processing, but the money is ready for us to invest. So I'm going to go and invest. If you come back to transaction, come down a bit. As you can see, I have not bought anything for a while. I've just been collecting the dividends. And also I have done a full hedge review video. And in that video, I said that you can earn interest by just having money sitting in your account. Most most people didn't believe that but this is evidence of it comes to your portfolio as money market fund but you need quite a bit of money sitting in your account to earn such a little amount and that's because of the interest rates have dropped all around the world so it's not a good idea to keep a lot of money in your hedge account you can get a much better return if you invest it all right now let's go have a look at our portfolio now every stock on my portfolio is in the positives apart from exxon mobile and phillips now let's go have a look at the u.s total market index by vanguard ticket symbol vti has gone up 27 percent for me and that's a return of a thousand dollars stays industry has gone up 68 percent and alphabet one of my favorite has gone up 113 percent so guys you can make a lot of money by investing in well-known companies you don't have to go and find small companies that no one else has found alphabet which is the parent company of google is a well-known company and it's still giving me 113 percent return which is massive next 
next down we have an ETF for semiconductors. Um, I bought into that because computers will always be around and we need semiconductors for all your computing needs and that includes cars as well not just your laptop and your desktop that you have at home and work. Waste management is always going to be needed and that's why I bought into it. Adobe I'm a big fan of the company for many reasons. I'll make another video about that later. Striker Corporation which is a medical and surgical equipment manufacturing company. I invested in that because you can see how a company like this is needed and it has given me a return of 44 percent caterpillar i bought into caterpillar because of the pandemic i knew the first thing that's going to come back is constructions and caterpillar has a big grip on the construction industry so far i have been right because it has gone up 84 percent the next down we have chap corporation which is an insurance company insurance was a risky investment but i did my research and i was really happy with chap corporation and i was right it has gone up 74 percent american waterworks is another essential company that i thought my money would be safe in it has gone up 52 percent then i have an etf for medical devices we're gonna be needing them so that's why i bought into them and that has gone up 55 percent next we have amd now i'm kind of double dipping here because we have a semiconductor etf and amd down here i bought amd because they have good news coming up and they're doing much better than intel so i just wanted to get more exposure to amd coming down we have another etf and then another etf a general etf we got exxon mobile down below and this is interesting this has gone up 126 percent but that only means i got 630 dollars because i invested a small amount into this i thought it would be a gamble i thought exxon mobile would be a much safer bet but i was wrong apple hospitality reach it has gone up 12 percent very slow because of the pandemic and then we have another one in the loss now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add into some of these companies because they're doing really well and then at the end i'm gonna buy one new company that's not in my portfolio so the first one that i'm gonna add money into is sage industrial it has given me more than 50 percent return it went down at 1.200 dollars but now it's up two thousand dollars come down i'm gonna go on buy it'll give you this option and as you guys know i always go market buy and the amount i want to invest in this is two thousand dollars and that should bring up the amount that i invested into this company to six thousand us dollars because the us market is open currently my order will be placed immediately so go place order and that's done keep browsing actually if we come back to the portfolio that is now my biggest investment yet the next company that i want to buy is alphabet my favorite company i'm not happy with the amount that i have put in so i'm gonna go and put a lot more into it now that i have money saved up i only have two thousand dollars invested currently so i'm gonna go and put six thousand dollars more review market order and then place order your market order is confirmed come back to portfolio come down a bit that is now my biggest investment yet as you can see it was up a hundred percent but now it's down to 28 percent because that's just how meds work <laughs> the next one that i want to increase is the semiconductor etf as i mentioned before it's going to be an industry that's going to be needed in the future so if you have a look at all the transaction i've been collecting dividends but i only put down two thousand dollars let's go and increase to six thousand by investing an additional four thousand dollars go review place order and that's done my money is slowly coming down but it's that easy to invest through hedge come down that is now my second biggest investment now what i want to invest in next is waste management as i said before it is a well needed organization and i don't see it going out of business anytime soon if you have a look at all the transaction i've been collecting quite a bit of dividends but i only put down two thousand dollars so let's go and bring that up to five thousand dollars by investing an additional three thousand dollars review place order and that's done come back to the portfolio waste management is now my fourth largest investment in my hedge portfolio the next one that i want to invest in is caterpillar construction is always going to be needed and i'm happy with how this company is tracking along i only put down one thousand dollars and i've been collecting nine dollars in dividends until now where i'm going to invest three thousand dollars and bring it up to four thousand dollars go review place order and that's done 
we still got ten thousand dollars more to invest so let's come back to the portfolio come down in my portfolio caterpillar was up about 80 percent but now it's down to 21 percent guys don't let that stop you from investing more i know some people have certain behaviors when it comes to investing once they have a stock in their portfolio they tend to hold on to it without increasing their investments and they go searching for new companies guys you don't need to search for new companies if the companies that you already have are doing quite well the next one that i want to increase is another etf and that's my medical device etf it is another etf that is made out of companies which i think are essential so if you have a look at the older transaction there was a stock split which doesn't really do anything to your money and it doesn't pay that much dividends because most of their profit is used to invent new and improved medical devices which i think is pretty cool and i'm happy to put more money into it not because of dividends but what the etf stands for so the amount that i want to put in is four thousand dollars as you can tell guys that i am not wasting time looking at graphs and analyzing where the stock price is drawing all kinds of imaginary lines and trying to come up with reasons as to why it will go up or down i just look at the company and what they do i have six thousand dollars left and i'm going to put all of that into one new etf and that is called first trust cloud computing etf with the ticker symbol skyy so let's have a search for that skyy it's not doing so good today but i don't really care about the day-to-day -day price movements so market buy and i'm just going to click down here to invest the available remaining amount left so all of it review market order place order and now i have no more money left see all transactions and here we go i have spent a lot today so this is a nice summary of what we did today and we will keep a track on how well these investments will go come back to the portfolio come down a bit my current portfolio is 69,768 if you were to change that to New Zealand dollars just to give you an idea it is now 98,272 dollars gained about 24% which is nearly $20,000 so we will keep a track on how much we can get this number up come back to the top change that to US there's an hour and 56 minutes remaining but I'm gonna go to sleep now because it's crazy early in the morning so it's been a few seconds for you watching but it's actually been four months for me and you saw me buying into these seven companies on the 8th of september 2021 today is now the 8th of january 2022 so it's been four months and to help us see what happened to my investment more easily i created this spreadsheet so on the 8th of september we bought 56.86 shares at 112 dollars and seven cents and that's exactly what i have put here to the very last decimal point so that means after the fee we put in six thousand three hundred seventy six dollars and that's exactly what i have put here basically the shares times the buying price and i have done that to all the other six companies and i have created this table here let's have a quick Quick look at the spreadsheet to see how well our investments have done and as i said we made these investments on the 8th of september and i have gone and gotten the share price of these companies on the 8th of october 8th of november 8th of december and 8th of january and as you can see exactly one month after we made those investments my forty thousand dollars was down one thousand two hundred thirty two dollars the biggest drop came from caterpillar it was down 6.81 percent but in terms of dollar value my biggest loss came from first trust cloud competing etf I was down $249. The only investment that was on the positive was waste management. I was up by $10. It's kind of funny. On the first month, I was down $1,000. And on the second month, I was up $1,000. The biggest return came from the semiconductor ETF. I was up by 13.34%, which is $500 from this investment alone. The next biggest gainer was the first trust cloud computing ETF. I was down nearly 4%. And then in exactly a month, I was up 5.81%, which is the dollar value return of $370 and exactly a month after that I was down $200 so on the 8th of December my investment was 50 50 half was gaining me money half was losing me money the biggest gainer was still the semiconductor ETF it went up from 13% to 17% stage industrials was coming up very slowly and then it finally started giving me a positive return so December was a mixed bag for me if you keep coming to the right you can see how volatile the stock market is the first month I was down $1,000 then the month I after I was up $1,000 and the month after that I was up $600 and the month after that I was down $600. So this shows you how volatile the stock market can be but investing shouldn't just be looked at in a four month period so this doesn't scare or worry me. Anyways this was just the new stocks that we invested in. Let's go have a look at how my other stocks are doing on my portfolio and if you remember earlier on from this video my return has come down from 36% to 21%. If you come down and have a look at my other holdings my return on Google is $1,670 
278 dollars it used to be 2268 so that has come down the next biggest holding in my portfolio now is the semiconductor etf it has given me a return of 1995 which is an increase from the 1390 dollar return from the start of this video my return on stack has gone up by 300 dollars my return on waste management used to be 1125 dollars it is now 1424 dollars next we have the only negative in my portfolio and that is the cloud computing etf now this is the new investment that we added to my portfolio and that's of course is going down next we have caterpillar my return on caterpillar used to be 847 dollars it is now 1188 dollars my return on medical devices etf used to be 551 dollars it is now 172 dollars so that has gone down as well it's not looking too good total stock market index from vanguard has stayed somewhat the same and then we have the biggest drop in my portfolio which is adobe at the start of this video my return on adobe used to be 36 percent it is now only five percent if we come down job used to be 74 percent it is now up to 92 percent return for me that's a 17.62 percent difference the one energy corporation was up 126 percent it is now up to 181 percent for me that's a 155 percent increase in just a few months which is crazy not to mention the dividends i've been collecting from them striker corporation has gone up by eight percent which is a 108 dollars increase for me exxon Mobil was on the negative at the start of this video it is now up 21 percent amd is up to 76 percent return for me it used to be 46 percent american waterworks was up 52 percent it is now up to 43 percent so that has gone down these two etfs as well as apple hospitality reach has gone up about 10 percent since the start of this video and then this used to be in the negatives but that has gone up to 10 percent as well so overall my current portfolio is giving me a return of fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty one dollars it used to be thirteen thousand nine hundred thirty two dollars but my total return right now is twenty six percent it used to be fifty percent so there we go i invested the last sum of money throughout a pandemic and a war nothing really exciting has happened apart from me getting a lot more dividends now my returns have somewhat stayed the same but four months is just too short term to see any results i will do another video in the future to see how my investments are tracking along but for now i'm happy with my portfolio considering there's a pandemic and a war raging on see you in the next videos